Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Gagos and I am back with a new video finally. Thank you for your patience. If you watched the previous video, uh, you will see why I've been away for so long. I had to have emergency surgery and I explain a little bit about that. And so, and I've also been focusing on creating art for myself and not necessarily making videos. And so I'm back, hopefully, to uh, making videos at least once a week hopefully more than that. I've been working mainly in resin lately, so I'm gonna be showing you some of the things I've been doing. This is one of them. I've been working on, basically working on resin painting. Uh, I showed, I believe I showed in the last video the ocean painting I did. I'm all about the ocean. And blues are some of my favorite colors all kinds of blues <laughs> so I've been working on that as well as making some geodes I'm always looking for new surfaces to do geodes on and I had these wooden palettes around and I was thinking wow that would be really cool to do a geode on an artist palette since I have so many artist friends I figured it might be a really cool thing for them to hang in their studio give a little bling bling to the studio and um, you know put up something really pretty and inspiring so that's my idea and I'm really excited about it I have a few palettes already ready to go this one is in silver and then I have another one in gold right here. And these are already primed and spray painted. So I am going to be um, creating a geodesque painting, resin painting on a artist palette. That is what we're going to be doing today. So what you'll need is a palette, any size will do. Try not to get the one that's like for oil painting, like the ones that have linseed oil on them. Uh, I had to find ones that didn't. I found these, uh, it was like a three pack on Amazon and I'll put the link below. And then what I do is I prime it with polyurethane, both sides, and then I spray paint it a background color so that it's not just the wood showing through because sometimes I use a lot of transparent paints in my resin and what ends up happening is that you can see the wood through if you want to see the wood through just leave it as is but make sure you seal it seal both sides because what will happen is the there will be off gassing and there will be bubbles that will rise to the surface even later on if it's not sealed so you don't want to look at your painting a month later and see uh, cloudiness or any kind of bubbles that develop later on because you didn't seal the wood okay so you'll need some glitter and some stones and I'll link the places that I've have found some stones um, and you'll need resin I'm using art resin for this one I also use East Coast resin um, Art resin has a longer working time. It has about a 40 to 45 minute working time. East Coast resin, you only have about 20 to 30 minutes. When you're working on smaller pieces, I think East Coast resin is good for that. But if you're working on larger pieces, you need um, more time. And also with pieces like this that are a little bit more intricate where you're actually trying to design something, you may need more working time. And I tend to work on more than one piece at a time. So I'll be working on three. Yesterday I was working on three pieces. I'll show you them. And so when you're doing that, you definitely want to have a resin that gives you more time to work on it. Now this one is a gift for my granddaughter uh, for her graduation. She loves black and gold. Let's see if you can see it. Um, and it needs just one more coat of resin. It has a little dimple somewhere here. And just it just needs a little scuffing. Uh, a little bit of sand paper on it. Uh, there's a little dust particle here. Not much. There is some dimpling because I think I, I was heating the resin a little bit after it started to cure. So sometimes that happens. And then here is the other piece I was working on yesterday which is amazing. Oh my god. I'm so in love with this piece. It is so gorgeous. I can't even tell you. Seriously. 
and this is on one of those wood slices. Look at that. And this one sold pretty soon after I posted it. And the sides are gold. Okay, so I'm hoping to do some geodes as well on camera to show you what I do. I tend to do geodes in a very loose way, so I don't have definitive lines. I like to see what happens, so I kind of um, simulate those uh, bands of color, and then I use the heat gun to blow them and let them go wherever they want to go. So this just like magically happened, and I loved it. This also happens when I uh, use the heat gun. And so I like that organic look um, instead of being more definitive with the lines. And some people might like the lines better. So it's really, there is no right or wrong in this. This is just a preference. I just prefer to do it in this way. So you'll see like in this one, um, you know, the paint went where it wanted to go. Like I wanted this to be a little bit more defined, but it wanted to go that way. So I may work on that a little bit, or I may leave it alone. Um, the stones are in various places. Sometimes I move them and I try to get them exactly right. But you know what? There's something beautiful about letting the resin and the inks and the glitter and all that go where it wants to go as well. So I enjoy that. Okay, well, let's get to it. Um, you will need a palette, as I said. Um, you will need to seal it, and you will need to paint it. If you don't want the sh wood showing through, you need some glitter, some resin, and you will also need to um, color the resin. And there are a few ways of doing that. You can use ink, you can use acrylic paint, you can use glitter. Colored glitter will color it so that you will have these beautiful bands of glitter, purple glitter. See, this was not a color. This was purely glitter in resin. Um, and what you want to do is not to put more than 10% of whatever color you're putting in to the resin. No more than 10% because you will end up with a mess like I did the first time. <laughs> I... Um, I had I did a resin painting it was a mess anyway it was stringy and it was just it started curing right away and it was because I put too much paint so you don't want that okay so let's get started yay okay so I just wanted to show you a couple of things before I put my mask on and all that um, these are the colors I'm going to be using. I am using Turquoise Green by Amsterdam, and I'm only putting a little, little bit on the tip of this chopstick, or of this craft stick, rather. Um, for the ink blue, probably two little squirts. And I'm also, I already put this in here. This is how much I'm using. I'll probably um, fill this up to about halfway with resin and this is primary elements and let's see if I can see the color this one is plumeria and that's how much I'm putting very little this is some glitter and I'll show you exactly how much I'm going to put of that with glitter, it's a little bit more forgiving, so you can put more. Some people put the whole bottle, but I don't really need that much. The other one I'm using is, this is a, um, I believe it's for makeup. It's a metallic powder by Mayron. This was recommended by Artists Till Death uh, on YouTube. And I love this gold. It does great lacing. And I'm literally going to put, let's see, not even, that's too much. Oh, that much. That's it. And I'll probably fill this like halfway. And finally, the gems that I'm using are actual uh, chips of uh, quartz crystal. 
that's what I plan on putting in this one. And I may use some others. I'm not sure. Um, these, these are not actual crystals, but I love these. They're like flakes. Let me see if I find the bottle. Okay, this is by Finnebear. And I love this so much. It's like glitter, but it's chunky. But it's not really glitter. So I'm not quite sure what this is. <laughs> but I'll link below. I believe I got this on Amazon. And it was like a three or four pack. So I like to put this in my geodes. And that's about it. As far as the products I'm using. Um, you'll need sticks and little cups. So I've decided to swap out the clear crystals with this aventurine green which I think might go well with this one we'll see I'm just gonna pour some right in a cup to make it easier to pour and I might end up using the clear ones as well all depends on what the inspiration that hits me at the moment um another thing you're going to need is a heat gun i don't think i missed anything if i did i'll put it in the subtitles i have my gloves on i got my tyvek suit and i'm about to put on my mask my respirator I use the 3M. I put it in this bag and I leave it in here. Uh, so the filters will last longer. And this is my mask. Well, I'll be back. I'll be mixing the resin off camera. If you want to see me actually mixing resin and how to do it, um, you can watch one of my other videos. I do believe I do it in at least one or two videos. Um, and I show you step by step how to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm.